Because you guys like the shorty so much, I thought I'd make a 2x2 version for the duos out there. With this base being so cheap to build and upkeep, and still costing 23 rockets to rate, this is another base for all of you chads out there. Although this base lacks some things like taller peaks or an insane raid cost, I can guarantee you, you will have loads of fun building and living out of this base. For me, a base is all about being cosy and smooth, and you get that with this base. It has every deployable you could need as a duo, including a fridge. It fits two beds for quicker spawns, lockers for quicker kits, and so much more. Again, this design involves an awesome bunker and some cool freehand peaks, and I'll explain them both as well as I can. Because you guys like the Alien Red giveaway so much, I'm going to give away this awesome glow and skull face mask in my next video. All you need to do is leave a comment on this video, it's as easy as that. Might as well chuck a little like on it as well, why not? Starting off the tour, coming up to this tour here, we have a nice little oil refinery, which isn't accessible for the sides. Jumping up to our front door, we have a nice little peek here. Through the armoured door, we have a garage door to our right, which leads you up to the top floor and our peaks. Coming up to the top floor, we have enough room for a mini, we have a turret, we also have a garage door protecting the uh, vending machine. We also have our windmill on top of that. We have a nice locker, computer table, a fridge, research table with a box under it, and a mixing table. We also have another entrance to our roof here. Jumping up here, we have three electric furnaces, a repair bench, and loads of small boxes. We have our battery behind this window here, and we have our bunker, or where our bunker would usually be. We have a nice amount of storage with a tier 3 workbench. We also have two beds and some drop boxes. Coming into the main core, we have loads of box storage, and our tool cupboard cost. Just to show you how the bunker works, we're going to place a wall frame standing on top of the beds and then you can place this floor. Upgrade this to armoured or whatever you please and you're good to go. As soon as you want to demolish the twig, your bunker is open. Easy as that. Is your inventory severely lacking rust skins? If you use my code LEFTYP in all caps on Rust Clash, you can receive cases that can be claimed every single day. You can also claim rakeback when you use my code. Rust Clash now offer a dynamic referral code which means you can change it every 24 hours. Rust Clash has loads of different deposit methods, including Rust, CSGO, and Dota 2 skins, and they even have a crypto option. Rust Clash has all your favourite game modes, including my favourite, the Roulette Wheel. Rust Clash gives away over $25,000 a week using the Rain feature, which you can easily enter to through chat. So make sure you use my code LEFTYP in all capitals and get yourself some free skins. Also, make sure you gamble responsibly. Before we get into the build, I want to give a massive shout out to my channel members. Thank you guys so much. Enough of me rambling on, let's get into the build. We're going to start off with a standard 2x1. Place a wall frame on the front and place your roof. Place a door on the front and your tool cupboard as close to the wall on the door side as possible. From here we're going to place two foundations outside and completely wall them in. Now you don't want to upgrade the foundation this one here because we're going to now do our bunker you want to get one square and nine triangles out delete all of the twig back and come back in squares make sure the last one is connected to this uh, closest one here and upgrade delete all of the ones apart from the one connecting and go nine triangles out again one square Delete all the twig. And we can go squares back again. From here, we can place two half walls. And a floor on top of that. Make sure the floor is connected, snapped straight to the two half walls. Go ahead and upgrade, and we can delete the twig. Create a temporary triangle jump up here and make sure this is 20% stable. If it is, upgrade. Just to test to see if the bunker works, place a wall frame here, place a floor on top of that, delete the twig, and you're good to go. Now from here, we're gonna place a window, two walls, and a roof. Now you can't place this here unless you go down here. So we're gonna place a floor and delete that. Now you need to do the exact same with the wall frame, just like so. Place a door on, on there, and you're good. As you can see, we have no shelves in the base yet. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Go outside and place out of twig, 
foundations like this and you can place shelves inside. You want to do this for both uh, all of your court and also for your jump up. Now before you do the one for your jump up you want to place or make sure that you have a workbench down at least at level 2. Now leave this one twig and you can upgrade these two. Now I'm not going to bore you with placing all of these deployables as I don't really want to insult your intelligence but with the power of editing this is what it should look like. Easy as that. From here we're going to move on to the next stage of the base. Now this is the bit that's a little bit harder. We're going to do our freehand peaks. So off this side of the base here, out of twig, we're going to place one triangle, one square, and two more triangles. Delete all of it back, and place a foundation. Two low walls. Now you can use any sort of weapon for this, like a crossbow or whatever. I'm using the Thompson. Line your crosshairs up with this bottom bit here. As long as it's exactly the same as me and a dead centre of the thing, stand up and place two triangles like so. Make sure you do not move your mouse at all. From here you want to go one square and five triangles out. Place two triangles on the end of the two triangles and delete the two. Now you can upgrade these two. Now just to make sure it works, copy exactly as I've done here. We can go ahead and check if it's up on the TC. If it is, you're good to go and do the rest of the base. Once you've completed the free hand peaks, out of stone, we're going to complete our honeycomb. From here we can create a nice little triangle roof jump up at the front of our base. Now this is one of the hardest parts, it's making sure this stays 20% stable. As you can see when I place that it jumps up in stability. So the easiest way I've found to do is to place other triangles and connect them to that. It may take a few tries but you can get it eventually. I found it easiest placing this one first and then we can go ahead and connect this one up. Just like that. The rest of these are completely fine, you can do them as normal. We can now go ahead and create our peaks. What you want to do here is two wall frames and two triangles on each side.
go ahead and place a wall frame here and a door in the front a wall frame here fill the rest in with walls capping it off with another wall frame you can then go ahead and connect all of your peaks to your base now it's up to you how you do it um, but you need one connected to the base and one on the peaks easy as that Now the rest of the base is really really self-explanatory so I'm not going to talk through it but I hope you've enjoyed and uh, don't forget to comment for the giveaway. Peace. At this point of the video, you'll see that I can't place a wall frame here for some reason. This isn't a glitch of the base, this is a glitch of the server. This build is sanctuary, so it went down literally five minutes after this. And it just uh, glitched out, I guess. It will work when you try it, I promise.